Now, what I'm asking you guys to do is evaluate for the six trigonometric functions, which are right there. Evaluating, and all it is is writing a ratio. That's all you're doing. You're writing the ratio, Jacob. So what we have to do, though, is you guys notice the six trigonometric functions deal with three sides of a triangle, hypotenuse, opposite, and adjacent. Correct? Yes? So if you guys look at this, first thing we do, again, is find the hypotenuse. Cool. I got it. Then we need to find our adjacent side. Now remember, our adjacent side is what connects our theta and 90 degree angle. So you guys can see that this is our theta, right? Um, but the problem is, we don't have a value for theta. I'm sorry, this is our, what am I doing? That's our adjacent side. That's adjacent. We don't have a value for adjacent. So therefore, if that's adjacent, that's hypotenuse, then this is our opposite side. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if we do not have a value for one of our sides of our triangle, do we have enough information to find the third missing side? Yes, yeah, back to our focus lessons. We talked about using Pythagorean theorem. So we could say 7 squared is equal to 6 squared plus, I'll call this x, x squared. OK, does everybody agree with me, Pythagorean theorem? So that's 49 equals 36 plus x squared minus 36 minus 36. 13 equals x squared, right? Square root, square root, x equals square root of 13. So x equals the square root of 13. Everybody follow me here. So now all we're going to do is we've labeled the adjacent opposite hypotenuse. Now all we do is just do the sine cosine tangent. It's really you know, not that hard. So now we just do co or sine of theta. Sine of theta, opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine of theta, adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent of theta, opposite over adjacent. So that's 6 over the square root of 13. However, we don't want to leave the square root of 13 in the denominator, so I'm going to rationalize the denominator without showing my work, and let's see if we can get it. So let's see if we can do it in our heads. Does everybody follow me? I just multiplied by the square root of 13 on the top and the bottom. Right? OK. So now, that's 3e. We need to find all six trigonometric functions. So then we're going to go to cosecant. I always like to do them with the reciprocals, because now, to find the reciprocal of sine is just going to be 7 over 6. Right? That wasn't that hard. That was very minimal math to do. This reciprocal of cosine is secant of theta. So that's 7 over the square root of 13. Right? But we don't want to write it like that. And then tangent, I can just reciprocate this. I don't want to reciprocate this one, because then I'd have a radical in the denominator. So I'll reciprocate this one for cotangent. That's going to be the square root of 13 over 6. And that's it. Done. It's a little bit of kind of tedious work.